What's going on YouTube? This is what we Josh do. And this is an exciting unboxing. This is a newer product and this is a first for the channel. This is a company called Pecron and they make affordable solar generators, power stations, whatever you want to call them. This is the E500 LFP, meaning it's got the good batteries, the good good. And it's 576 watt hours. And um, yeah, there's some more information. Without further ado, let's dig into this thing and uh, see what we're working with. It's my very first Pecron. So I watch a lot of videos like a lot of you do. <laughs> and you know, I know that some Pecron stuff is great. I know that Pecron has released some things that aren't great. I have no idea about this product, but we're going to find out. So it's packaged very nicely. And right away, you get a good, good little look at what you're working with here. Got some instructions and warranty and stuff. And then we have the cute little power station. And that appears to be all of it. So it was a box inside a box. Yeah, see, you're supposed to, that would have been the right way. <laughs> That's a very generic box though, look at that. It's just a picture of a 3D model or something, like a, like a, proto, like a blueprint. <laughs> All right, and let's take a look at the unit. So on the back here, there's nothing. On this side, there's ventilation and some specifications. We're gonna check that out. And then we've got this nice little bag here. Oh, that's wireless charging on the top. That's pretty cool. So you just plop your phone down and your phone's charging. So don't have a cable? No problem. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, I got this neat little thing. This is freaking sick. Looks like we have some ventilation here on the back of it, which is nice to see. Oh, man, there's ventilation everywhere. There's ventilation here. Hey, there's some plugs here. What? There's a lot going on here. So wireless charger. Oh my gosh, I just realized I was filming in freaking vertical. <laughs> Hopefully I can fix that in editing. So let's take a look at all this stuff. Like I said, we've got some ventilation here. That's crazy, lots of ventilation. Got this little pouch. Let's see what's inside the pouch. So we've got the car charger so you can charge. Oh, that's one thing I'm immediately not liking is the fact that uh, I'm seeing this little DC pole here. Uh, I... Uh, would have preferred to have seen cigarette ladder to XT60, but you know, it'll work, it'll do. And then we've got the AC charging plug. So kind of short, kind of simple, not super thick, but it also isn't gonna push out a thousand watts. So you can adjust it, just keep it in a little pouch. And yeah, just a simple little AC thing. You can buy these at Walmart, Target, pretty much anywhere. And then we're gonna put that back in here. This is super cool for like on a road trip and you're wanting to keep this thing topped off. But yeah, so like, ventilation on the back. On the side, you've got some ventilation and we have some specifications here. So here's the stats for the battery. So DC charging is 100 watts maximum. Wireless charging is 15 watts maximum. 12 volts is 13.6 at 10 amps. USB-C can do, oh, very nice. 20 volts, five amps. 100 watts that macbook pro is going to charge 100 watts that rg ally x is going to charge 100 watts that steam deck is going to charge at 45 watts that rg ally is going to charge at 65 watts this is, this is pretty cool uh, again the e500 lp portable power station bunch of stuff there i see ventilation but i'm not immediately seeing a fan so i'm wondering if the fan is like deeper inside or if it's behind one of these little grills back here let's keep going and again you got these like rubber edges here so it feels like you could almost throw it around and then here we've got the business we've got the dc so that cigarette lighter port there to keep that little mini fridge going 12 volts 10 amps that's freaking sick you got these uh, barrel plug things here so you can do some cpap machines one of them's for 24 volts 5 amps one's for 12 volts 5 amps you got that 100 watt USB-C port, love to see that. Two USB legacy A's. You've got 600 watts maximum. That's crazy. You could power a PlayStation 5, a PS5 Pro, a Xbox Series X, and a TV. And uh, yeah, no problem there. And then on this side, 
you have a light. That's freaking nice to see. Love to see a light because you're going to be using this thing in a power outage more than likely. And having a light is super handy, like super handy. I've actually been through power outages and used every one of my power stations. Of course, the last power outage we had that was substantial was a while ago. And uh, I didn't have this many power stations. So you got that DC input for solar charging and car charging. And then on this, we've got that AC port there and some more ventilation. I wonder if the fan is on that side. Wherever it's at, it's a hiding. It might be underneath this thing. Man, the most obvious you'd say is this. But I'm not seeing a fan on the side or the top or the... Man, where is it hiding? I don't know. We'll turn it on and see if we can hear it and see if it's... That might give it away. I guess now's a good time as any to go over the instruction manual here. There you go. There's all the labels and ports and what everything does and what type of DC input we've got here. So up to 28 volts, maximum 100 watts. Okay. Oh, look, AC plus DC can work together, but the charge power will be limited to 500 watts maximum. So it looks like you can do 500 watts on the AC port anyway. And then look, the, it can function as a UPS. And then the temperature operating range, that's pretty important there if you're planning on using this in like a trunk or a car and it's going to be hot outside. And then charging time, just a whole lot of good data here. My word. It sucks to see 100 watts for the DC input though. I mean, that's definitely not going to be a very efficient for solar charging. It's going to take quite a while. How to use the unit. So long press, short press. This is all the information that's on the LCD screen or LED screen, whatever, on the display. And this is everything that comes with the package. There you go. There's the UPS function there. So it's going to be 8 to 20 milliseconds. I didn't know there was such a thing as 0 milliseconds. Servers and workstations. Press the DC button plus the LED button for 2 seconds. Turn on eco mode. Under eco mode, AC charging will be reduced to 50%. If there is operation for 1 minute, the screen will turn off. But power station will magically turn off. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This has an app. All right. You can review the product specifications. Sure, check that out. Okay, okay, okay. Long press the AC and DC together for three seconds due to the first connection or connect with another unit. Oh, okay, okay. So AC, DC together for three seconds. When the uh, Wi-Fi, oh, it's got Wi-Fi. That's pretty cool. How to charge the LFUI vehicle. Yeah, so check this out. 100 watts with a solar panel here and then a car is 100 watts. More specifications on the battery. 3,500 cycles. All right, just some good old information there. I like to include this because you might get this unit secondhand. Your dad might gift this to you. You're, you know, you could find it at a garage sale or whatever. And maybe uh, you want to know how to do something. So lots of freaking units here. Interesting. All right. So without further ado, let's finally get to the point where we turn this thing on by connecting up some power here. Okay, something went click. Says our unit is currently at 68%. Look at that. We're getting some power input here. It's completely silent at the moment. Oh, I heard it, and the fan was on this side. I can feel the air. All right, that's freaking tripping me out. It's got to be, like, right behind this, uh, like, gold and silver on the sides. You can't see it, but you can hear it. It's not loud. All right, so it looks like we're charging at 435 watts. That's pretty impressive. That's a pretty good speed there. All righty, let's download the Pecron app. All right, install. Okay. Open, agree, create an account. All right, I heard the fan in here kick up a little bit, so it got a little bit louder. Oh, is there a way to just scan to get... All right, now we're going to connect the Wi-Fi. All right, so hold these two buttons for one, two, three. The Wi-Fi icon is blinking. Oh, I can feel the airflow coming in from this side here. The fan's here, 
but I can feel the airflow being sucked in the, like the cold air. All right, it found the unit here, so save. And yeah, so on the home screen, oh well, look, it says WLAN zero. So it sees that it connected to our Wi-Fi. We click on it. And there you go, connected to our Wi-Fi. Well, that's a pretty cool app, all right. So it shows 426 watts being in. You click that to see the output. You could turn on the ports, which is pretty cool. So we just turn on DC, turn on AC. Fan just got louder and then it calmed down. And we turn on that LED. Oh, yeah, that's uh that's well, that's only 50%. Oh my, that's the probably the brightest light on a power station ever. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And you can do SOS. That's crazy. Turn it off. Oh, I like that. It says remaining time 16 minutes. View details. Lots of great data here. My gosh. Battery pack details. Okay, so alarm records, device user manual, download that, input output settings, so AC charging power, 100%, 75%, 50%, 25%, 40%. That's pretty cool. No output auto times. So you can do one hours, three hours, four hours or off. And then system settings. So you can enable that eco mode. The machine's AC charging power is set to 50%. Automatic shutdown, confirm. So we can turn it on or off. Let's go ahead and turn it off. No operation reduces the brightness. Ooh, that's cool that you could turn that off. And then the brightness on the screen, confirm. What about 50%? Oh, okay, okay. And then uh, device sharing management. Oh, dude, that's so cool. The QR code will expire after 30 minutes, can only be bound once for validity. That's cool. So, so someone else can have an account and use it from what I'm thinking here. I don't see a way to update their firmware, but maybe you can. Oh, device update. Devices to be updated. Okay, so basically all of the ones on your account, like right now, I only have just a one. So me, settings, device update, and then devices on your account. You can update them. I can turn on notifications. Pretty freaking cool. Pretty cool. All right. Well, this was the unboxing and setup. So I actually just finished the video, but I feel all the hot air here. But if I put my hand right here, I can feel cold air being sucked in. That's super cool. And on this side, it's the most noticeable because it's the biggest gap. That's just cold air going straight through. This thing has pretty good airflow. I should totally mention the wireless charging as well. So holding this down, see the little wireless charging animation here. There you go. So it's wireless charging and you're gonna see the output. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. 13 watts of wireless charging to our S25 Ultra. I will be testing this out and uh, release another video on this thing. So yeah, this is just the uh, unboxing and setup, basically. Gonna connect it to some solar, hopefully tomorrow if we get some sun, and see what all we can do. I gotta see if I even have a freaking MC4 to the DC that this thing uses to charge with solar here. Because not all DC are the same. Yeah, it says buy separately when you need. They have their own solar panels. That's pretty cool. We'll have to see if we have the right barrel plug to even solar charge it. That's why it'd be nice if they just use the XT60. So the fact that it uses Wi-Fi is sick because I can be at work or at school or, you know, somewhere not here. And I can remotely turn ports on and off and check and see how much battery is left and all that good. Good. So, all right. Well, that concludes this unboxing and first look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.